so today I'll be talking about um, we'll be continuing with the video from before so it's um, connected both of them just checking if my audio is okay let me see today I'll yes it's working we'll be continuing with so uh, this subject today will be about mold so what is mold and uh, if you haven't watched the previous video it's about the, the other thing which is um, uh, candida a kind of yeast so fungals are divided in yeast and mold okay so if you haven't watched my previous video go on my name click on my name if you're watching this in Facebook and go to videos and watch about um, the yeast the next fungus which is yeast and especially we are talking about candida so this is continuation of the previous video okay so what is mold so mold is a type of fungal fungus infection which consists of small particles organisms uh, and they they are found everywhere so they have been on this earth longer time than we have been on this earth and uh, so we so we evolve with them and they are everywhere even within our body so uh, but they're actually harmless unless they found find a dump area where they can grow right okay so this is a uh, bite from mosquitoes i'm at my home country where there are a lot of mosquitoes this time of the summer and this is good for immunity <laughs> they have ma some uh, mosquito bites toxins <laughs> Okay, so the thing is that the mold, you cannot smell it, you cannot um, see it, so it's actually invisible. And many people, when we ask them, they say, no, I don't have mold in my house and uh, my house is clean and because we don't see the mold, right? I was the same like that and I was thinking there is no mold. But uh, when I see it uh, coming out from my AC, then I was freaked you know i was waking up with nose congestion so i was also having fatigue brain fog and this was uh, the symptoms from mold toxicity right from the mold uh, mycotoxins the thing is that um, uh, most of the time this um, spores from the mold um, are everywhere and we can breathe them we can they're they're harmless but if they find dump area, they start to grow and multiply, especially since we left the caves and we start building houses and we have pipes leaking and we have uh, we're not uh, ventilating and they, they find a damp place where is a little water. It's uh, or it's humid and they will start to grow. And um, it's um, the thing is, if there is emf or wi-fi in the house where everybody that now nowadays they have uh, wireless internet in their house and the mycotoxins the mold becomes much more uh, it's a defense mechanism to produce more mycotoxins so they feel they are threatened by this emf this frequency and they produce more mycotoxins so they grow much more faster and uh, um, then you can see it and you can feel that uh, you can start having some symptoms okay so uh, usually they like to stay in the um, dust area like maybe behind and also in the humid area like behind the washing machine behind the fridge the, behind the uh, dishwasher you know the the mycotoxins the mold spores they uh, land here there and if it's they want dark place they want dark humid place and when there is no much uh, ventilation right and they won't start to grow so black mold and the pink mold they are the worst and they produce more um, the worst mycotoxins okay okay so we will see what is uh, mold and uh, what are the symptoms it can cause these mycotoxins and what we can do about it and to prevent it and to um, uh, heal to try to heal and uh, release these mycotoxins from our body so more predisposed people are those people who have um, low temperature, like those who have hypothyroidism. And um, most of the time they uh, are more predisposed and they can uh, easily get these mycotoxins to, and get the reactions from these mycotoxins. Okay. 
and it reduces the immunity definitely okay because are, these are toxins and the symptoms from the mold mycotoxins are chronic fatigue are um, joint pain losing hair anxiety brain fog memory problems depression um, then you have uh, a weight gain then uh, uh, tingling and numbness in the hands or in the legs so this is common symptoms from mold toxicity then uh, skin rashes um, nose bleeding then um, uh, congestion like i had in the nose so this because we breathe these mycotoxins the spores right and first defense in our body is the nose where we have uh, mucus and the immune cells are coming there to fight the, the toxins right and we feel like congestion in the nose or sinus problems because they want to hide there in the sinus um, cavities right in the in the holes and uh, from there from the nose uh, we swallow right the mucus and it goes directly into the gut so these mycotoxins can cause a lot of toxicity in the gut and same like uh, the previous one that i was explaining about candida yeast it's fungal right it creates fungal overgrowth and gut disbalance which uh, leads these mycotoxins are damaging the gut lining and leads to leaky gut right at the end um, yeah usually doctors when they test they say your test results are normal so you don't uh, so you don't know why you're feeling like this you know the doctors are saying that you, it, there is nothing wrong with you right and they say uh, usually because of the this array of symptoms that the person is seeing that they are fatigued they have brain fog they have um, tingling in the knees and headaches all the time they have headaches very often and the doctors will say okay uh, they will say maybe you have fib fibromyalgia or um, because this is a um, bunch of symptoms and they give them the name like these symptoms uh, correspond with fibromyalgia pain in muscle pain joint pain fatigue sleep problems memory and mood issues right uh, the thing is that these mycotoxins are hiding in our fat cells usually in the body and uh, we have the fat cells also are under the skin like and uh, viscerous and subcutaneous fat which are uh, around the organs which are protecting the organs so these mycotoxins are hiding there and it's and when they go there it's very difficult to take them out of the body right to take them out from the uh, fat cells and to expel them so that's why uh, people these people are the sickest people which have um, ex been exposed to mycotoxins from fun from mold okay um and uh, because uh, this is very difficult to the people have th are the sickest because if uh, they don't have their detox pathways open like what are the detox pathways they are the if they have constipation that means it, there is blockage so the kidneys should be working prof uh, perfectly then the liver the lymph lymphatic system should be so you know if somebody has edema that means the lymphatic system is not working properly if somebody is swollen in the morning that means that they are not expelling the toxins easily so there is no movement right also uh, the sweating so we don't want to use antiperspirant because it's blocking the sweating and why by sweating we are expelling the toxins from the body so we must make sure that the detox of detoxifying pathways are open right because even if we start detoxifying if the, the detoxifying pathways are blocked then the people usually have the worst symptoms instead of getting better they are feeling worse right um yeah mold toxicity triggers limb dysfunction of the legs and the arms right and they trigger mast cell activation syndrome so they trigger the histamine production because as we dis explained in the previous video um, and I have explained about the um, uh, histamine intolerance and mast cell activation system in my another video. So go to my, uh, click on my name and you can search about histamine where I explain how this happens. It all starts in the, so not everybody will get the symptoms, right? So if you have any of these symptoms, uh, please let me know right in the comment. 
these are very common symptoms and uh, it may be connected with the mold toxicity with the mycotoxins that the mold is uh, releasing right uh, so so many patients who have this kind of uh, toxicity they feel that their body has betrayed them right they don't know why the, the body is acting like that and it's feeling like that so they, because the mold is very difficult you don't see it you don't smell it and it's everywhere around us so what can we do about it so prevention is the best thing what does it mean to to he keep the humidity below 50 because if it's below 50 um, the mycotoxins can uh, it's not it's actually a dry area so if the humidity is high above 50 then they can uh, grow anywhere then we have to open the windows more more frequently and to have uh, air circulation as i said for for humidity you can buy something to measure the humidity in the in your environment and if it's high then you can buy like a dehumidifier which is absorbing all the humidity we have this in uh, abu dhabi so it's absorbing the the humidity and it's a uh, you will see how much water it will it can um, take out from the air it's a lot a lot then um, maybe you can find some uh, company to do mold inspection thorough inspection so they they say um, there are some simple tests that you can put like in the water or something in the in the on the table to check to test and bring it in the lab but that's not a good test because uh, if there is no circulation, the mold spores are not, maybe they are down, maybe they are hiding, so you cannot measure like that. The best test is, um, uh, I think the inspection team that come, they, in the, on the towel, they, they check, the t take the dust, because the mold the spores usually, they hang out where the dust is. So they take out, uh, from with, wipe them out, wipe some um, dust from behind the fridge or behind the um, washing machine or maybe behind the dishwasher on an ac duct you know where the it's very there is condensation happening there so that's why the mold wants to hang out there and um, then they will take this and uh, this towel with the dust and they will uh, take it to the lab and they will test for mycotoxins for the spores and they will check which mold um, which kind of mold is there because there are different molds okay so then uh, if we want to clean it by ourselves so usually they think bleach is good but bleach is actually uh, made from there is water in the bleach so again it's making it wet so we don't want wet so if there is leakage in the in the house or somewhere in the building so it's not just like to to put a new paint or something you know first the area must be dry because it takes only 24 hours after the leakage the mold to grow so that's only 24 hours so it must we must dry the area very good like with the air uh, hair dryer or something and then to to put the new um, new uh, color or painting or to cover that area right okay so or uh, the good thing you, you can use oregano spray it's antimicrobial antibacterial antifungal it's you know this kind of herbs they are natural and they kill mold uh, then avoid eating the food with mold, which is com contaminated. And which is this food? That's the grains. So avoid all the grains, uh, especially corn, then peanuts, peanuts, pistachios. So they are the most contaminated with mold, with mycotoxins, because because of where they are storing them. In the in the warehouses, they grow mold, and usually people uh, who have um, mold toxicity they um they are very sensitive to also to light to sound they're uh, sensitive to um, other toxins and um sensitive to pain also and to sound as i said they have mood swings they have um, chemical sensitivity so these people are actually um very 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 um sensitive to everything to pain especially and uh, this is the trigger the mycotoxins from the mold so next the microbiome must be healthy and to get all the toxins out of the body 
So if we have an unhealthy microbiome, if we have a leaky gut, these toxins will leak and will go directly into the blood, where they will cause inflammation and autoimmune disease. So, because um, the bile is very important, because the bile is taking, um, it's moving the toxins uh, uh, out of the body. So the people who have gallbladder issues and who have removed the gallbladder, they may have um, uh, difficult times in getting rid of the toxins. So uh, the gut microbiome is very important. The people who have healthy gut, they may not have any uh, symptoms and issues. And many times the people who live in the same um, family, some of them and they have the, the symptoms, some of them don't. Usually women have the symptoms because they are more sensitive. But the men, and depends also of the immunity and of the my gut microbiome. Uh, okay. Uh, so, to get the toxins out of the body, as I said, you must use sauna, you must um, detoxify better. And uh, your detoxify pathways might, must be open. Then, uh, diet rich in polyphenols, sauna, as I said, Epsom salt bath. bath. Fasting is good, uh, taking liposomal glutathione. If uh, somebody reacts on that, then uh, take drink green juices, get, uh, get regular massages. Uh, sweating is good. Milk thistle to take. Uh, it's to support the um, glutathione to the liver uh, support for because liver is our detoxifying, the master of the detoxification organ. Then buy air filter to filter the air, but um, buy the good one, which can catch the mycotoxins from the mold. Then the binders like um, charcoal, chlorella, bentonite clay, zeolite. So they are good to bind the toxins and to expel them out from the body. They are also good, but uh, they have loose connection binding. So it may not be so strong, the binding, and it may be... Um, the toxin may um, fall out from these binders, so that's why we need to uh, make it like continuous and longer period of time. Some people may, be, may take like two to six months to see some changes, some improvement, because to take out these mycotoxins from the body, as I said, is the most difficult thing, right? It must be done a um, uh, longer time and to be more committed and determined and not to stop. Okay, so I hope uh, you find this uh, video uh, informative. So if you have any other symptoms, just let me know. You can send me a message. And if you know somebody that might have these symptoms, I know a lot of people contacted me who have this kind of symptoms. And when I asked them about mold, they said, no, 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 I don't have. Yeah, I was the same. I thought I don't have, but the mold is hiding everywhere. Just open the windows, uh, let the clean air coming, uh, use the uh, detoxification, make more detoxification, open the pathways, make sure you are eliminating toxins. E even if you don't have sauna, let's say, just dress up more and go outside and sweat more, walk, run, or do something. This is, uh, it, it cannot, this, this is very difficult to heal so it takes time but you must be consistent and um, regularly try and uh, don't give up okay okay so if you like this video just share it with your friends and if you have any of the symptoms just let me know write in the comment or send me a message see you next time bye